Storytime Sunday. Hey guys! Yeah. Today we are going to be doing a what is in my camera bag. Because we've got a lot. I've got a lot of stuff He's in got my a camera lot of stuff. bag. <laughs> but first we wanted to talk about our vlogging setup. So babe, how? This is what brings you the vlog every day. Yep. This, this right here. durable dude. This right here is like. <laughs> so this is the Sony A60. 6300. 6, yep. So this is a second lens because you guys remember at the skate park, Cody broke the lens. Yeah, this is this is actually the broken lens. That's why it's stuck out. <laughs> so this is our backup lens or camera. It's the Sony A6000. I'm having a hard 6, time. 6000. Yep. And it's a good camera, but let's talk about this camera first. So from kind of a non-photographer perspective, yeah, he's like, babe, come talk. I'm like, honey, I don't know what to say except I push a cord. <laughs> but what do you like about the camera? Like, what do you dislike? What do you like? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think it's a great camera. It is pretty user friendly. Like, it's easy to figure out. He has actually made it easy. Like, you can create like different settings, right? Yep. So you can create like an entire setup and then just have it. So like, babe, if you want to do slow Programmed motion, you just have to turn the wheel to this. And yep. So sentence. it's already programmed in there. It's very easy just to all the click it on there. Programmed. You can have it all the shutter speed you want. ISO change the you know it's it's all in there. So what I really like about this camera, what I actually the reason I bought it, first off it's a Sony. Sony does very good at video. I love their video. I really love that it has 120 frames per second. And if you don't know what that means, it's the slow mo. The smooth, buttery Normally you film at 24 frames per second, at least we do for video. If you film it faster, you can stretch it out to 24 frames per second and it gives you that buttery, smooth, slow-mo shots that I love so you much. You mean 120. So then I stretch it out to make it 24. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we also have this little tripod thing that... It makes it handy. Makes it easy to hold. It's... Or when we're doing like setup shots, oh, yeah. like when I'm cooking, quickly just set it. You can like aim it, move it around. Mm -hmm. Can they see this? I hope they can. Let me hold it up here. But you can move this, you yep. know, how you want it. I don't know. Lock it in place. Lock it in place. It's handy. It's yep. handy dandy. One thing I don't like about this handle. The noise. Yep. If you hear this random clink every once in a Us while, readjusting. I put a rubber band on here just to kind of dumb down Soften the sound. It. But every once in a while you'll get like this this noise, so when you're like quickly moving. You can hear that. It, yeah, yeah. I kind of have to edit and that out a little bit. It pinches the crap out of your fingers. All of our kids Sometimes have been injured and me and Cody. <laughs> like if you are holding it, your fingers up here at the top and you shut it, you're gonna get pinched pretty dang hard. <laughs> Yep. But it's awesome. We love this camera. That's yeah. what it does our vlog every day. Every day. This is what you see. It's a very durable camera too. Like it's well built. It's heavy. Like Coda, it feels like yeah. it's strong. You guys saw it. Coda fell out of a tree yesterday. <laughs> guys, I just slid. <laughs> Holding this camera and the camera's up totally fine. It's fine. <laughs> Unless you fall on a skateboard on a cement and hit it like Shatter. a hammer on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the camera works fine. The lens broke though, so. But yeah, we've had it for over almost two years now, like pretty close to two years, and it's still working just fine. You can take off the lens. The lenses are interchangeable. Mm -hmm. So what we do sometimes is I have this adapter, so you can I could put on my my bigger, nicer lenses if we really want, because I shoot Canon for my photography. But you know, it's not too often. It comes with a, um, a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It zooms, so yeah, it's so not it's not crazy yeah. far, but it it's a good like wide lens, so you can hold it out and vlog. And, but you can also, if it's a little bit further away, <laughs> you're living the <laughs> 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 You 
could, yeah, still get that. It's it does well in dark light. It or dark low light, light, low light, mm -hmm. and it's it's just very user friendly. It's, I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can really get into the details and make it look very good, mm -hmm. like bright, like we like our vlogs, and it's a good camera for what we've got. So moving on to our backup camera, the A6000. This is a good camera. What I do like about it is that. Yeah, that that we use every day doesn't have that. Yep. So you kind of are just guessing it does to know flip if you're in frame. Like this, but if you're vlogging, that doesn't help you. It doesn't help you at all. So this one is nice. It is nice so you can do do that. It doesn't have the 120 frames per second, so we can't do any slow-mo stuff on it, but but it is a solid lens too, or camera. Mm -hmm. The lens, I because this is the broken one, I have to use the adapter and use one of my bigger lenses, like this guy. Which makes it Which makes heavy. it <laughs> kind of bigger and kind of less functional, but it's good to have a backup camera. Yeah. The third camera we use for vlogging is the GoPro Hero 6, the black. And this has been a great camera for us. It's very durable. It doesn't have... Water park, swimming. Yeah. It's Waterproof. It doesn't have a waterproof casing. It just comes waterproof, like and it it's just tiny. You can just stick it somewhere and forget about it. And you know, it's really good for just water activities. Time lapses. Time lapses. <laughs> We've got a chest mount, a head mount, just all sorts of mounts. GoPros are awesome for that. The image quality isn't quite where I'd like it to be, so we end up not using it as much. They did come out with the new Hero Seven, which I hear is a lot better. And we might have to make some <laughs> adjustments oh there. Oh but man. the fourth camera, guys, yes, we use four cameras for our vlogging, is our drone. The DJI Mavic Pro. I said that funny. The DJI, DJI, mm -hmm. DJ, DJI Mavic Pro. This has, has been, been a game changer. <laughs> it has been crashed the first week we bought it. Oh. But this thing is awesome, guys. Like, it's just, we get comments oh. all the time on how beautiful drone our drone footage is and how cinematic it looks, like you're in a movie theater. Um, I also have a filter on the lens to kind of dumb down the light and give it a little bit more detail in the highlights, which I think really helps. But it's fun. It is fun flying this thing. Like. If I didn't vlog, I would probably still want this drone because it's just awesome. It's so fun to have. It's so fun to fly, and get shots you can't get with yeah, a vlogging yeah, camera. You know, completely different angle, and I think it really ups your vlog quality. Yeah, in for general, sure. like for sure. that's the main reason we got it. Because like, if we had a drone, that'd be sweet. Get some awesome shots. Mm. So that's our vlogging setup, and we also have a mic up there. It's in use right you now, though. It. It's it's kind of a cheaper one. It's the what is it called? It's a Tax Star, so it's like it's like a thirty dollar lens or mic, I think. But it does the job for <coughs> dying here. But it does the job, especially for our yeah. sit down videos where there's not wind or anything. Yeah, so it helps with the audio. We don't use it too often, just for story times. Mm -hmm. On occasion, which we're filming right now, we'll use the Canon 6D Mark II which is a very good lens. It's my backup to my photography lens. So when we're feeling really artistic, we'll go to <laughs> the lens or the camera this we're camera. using now. Well, you, Cody can do like the autofocus with the kids, which makes it for oh, yeah. really artistic, dramatic shots, which I like. Oh yeah, you get some good stuff with that. We got a lot of cameras. We have a lot of cameras. I think I have a problem. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is we use them all. It's true. Like, like they don't just day. sit there. Yeah. So yeah. this one in particular, like it surprised me. It goes me with us everywhere. How well it's withstand life. Because yes, Cody there's lost the lens things. cap like the first week we got it. Yeah, and honestly, we use it so much. It's like on and Pointless. off, on and off yeah. to have it on there. Yeah. This camera has been through it all. And through it, it all. did have a downside when we first got it. It had on these two little hooks right here for like a strap. It had these metal rings on it. Yep. And so for the first few vlogs, we could not figure out what the dang noise was because it was just like the ding, like the metal rings hitting the camera. Figured that out, took those off took because that, that was just a pain. Yep, it did have a few falls. It had a screen protector on here we got from the very beginning and it cracked it. But it you, saved, you did that too. 
I, I'm rough with my stuff, guys. Like if I, I if I use it, I I'm gonna use it. Well, it's one of those things where I'm like, I am so glad Cody broke it because if I broke it, he'd probably be really mad. But if he I'm broke it, mad because I know mad. I broke it or I break stuff. But it is it's expensive. This is about a thousand dollar camera. I don't know. It's just been such a good camera. The audio is great, just mm -hmm. straight out of camera. You don't have to have a mic on it, but you can put a mic on there. It's got a flash. If you need a flash for photos, it's not as good as other cameras at photos, but the video well, quality is Well, he compares just, it to his like it's true. super nice photography photos. It's but. true, but it, it can do the job. Mm -hmm. The battery life lasts a we long time. We change it every day. Yeah, it lasts a full day without any issues unless we're shooting a lot and a lot of slow-mo stuff, mm -hmm. and then it, it kind of drains it, but it, it'll still last most of the day. Yeah. So we have two or three batteries that we use. It's durable. It's kid proof. You can get it yeah. and not worry about it. I don't know. Some cameras feel so like delicate and like Cody said, this just feels yeah. like, sturdy. Like the one right below it, it feels a lot lighter and like if I drop well, this, like, I feel like it would gonna, break. Yeah. And the, yeah, it's plastic. This well, is like this super is, like, thick. I think aluminum. Yeah. And it's just the Sony a6300, I would say is the best camera for vlogging. For sure. We actually were at CVX a few days or a week ago and came up to Shay Carl and we were vlogging with this camera. He says, oh, I love that camera. Hi, it's the Shay Carl. Camera. It's That's such a good camera. camera you can like um, Jared from Ellie and Jared really love his camera too. He's told me a few times in person that he loves this camera. Yep. Oh, look at this camera that you're rocking. It's a legit the camera. A6, it's it's hers. Uh, Wait, 63. Oh. So, Shea Carl, Ellie and Jared, both approve, approve. of this camera. <laughs> I think it's an awesome camera and I honestly would buy it again. Mm -hmm. Just, if we break it somehow, knock on wood, I'd, I'd just buy this camera straight up yep. again. Just and, replace it. and like I said, yeah. we use yeah. it all day, every single day. Like, yep. it's not like we're just occasionally using it. It is getting... It's all wear. Day use, yeah. and all day, every day use, and it's still yeah. awesome. So. And you can tell, like, there's dings all over mm -hmm. it, but it's it's aluminum, so it's yeah. not gonna like just crack and like yeah. break. But that's our vlogging camera. It's what you see our vlogs on every day. Yeah. So going into my photography bag a little bit, <laughs> my go-to camera is the Canon 60. So many six and eights. And the Canon 60. This is my like go-to setup. It's got a 70 to 20, 200 lens, and the photo quality and it is awesome. Like there are better you cameras guys see out his there. Photos. Like there's better cameras out there, like the 5D Mark IV, three even that are awesome. But this is about half the price, and I feel like the bit or photo quality is on par, if not better because just the color profiling is amazing. The functionality, it just feels like, like a glove. It just, it just fits there. Oh, I just wanna take a picture. <laughs> oh, anyways, I love the, the Canon 60. So my other lens I go to is the Sigma 35 Art. It is a super sharp fixed lens, which means it's set on, I can't zoom you or can't anything, zoom. which makes it sharper because there's not extra elements in there that are, you know, adding glass in there. And it is a super sharp lens that I use quite often. It's usually, these two are in my camera bag all the time, anywhere I go. Another lens that I really like, this is one my dad gave me when I started doing photography. It's the Tamron 28 to 75. And it's just got such a good variety. Like, you can get really wide shots at 28 and then you can zoom in. I'm sorry, you've almost smacked me in the face a hundred times in this video. I'm sorry, I'm just very animated. I like this stuff. I mean, your hand would feel better than a lens or a camera though. It's true. Okay. So this lens, I actually broke it about a year ago. Um, the element would not connect to the camera body. So I actually had it sent in and fixed because it was just, I just love this lens. It's just a really good focal length. Like you can zoom in and get close tight shots or you can get the whole picture really fast, really quick and easy. And it's also really sharp too. So bonus there. Heck yeah. Another lens I have is the 85 millimeter and it's a 1.4. So it can go really dark and get very good pictures. Oh, I forgot to say this is a 1.4 as well. So in dark scenarios, it's a good, good lens to go to. 
<laughs> so, I love Canon. I love their their cameras. I think they're awesome. I also have the 60 Mark II, like we mentioned before. That's my backup camera. I throw mm -hmm. in my bag. That's what's filming us right now. Yep. Just in case, we got it basically for video and photos because I want to get into wedding video as well. It does 60 Which we have done a second. few of. Yeah. So one thing I forgot to mention about this camera, the 120 frames per second, it does crop it in a little bit. So it's not as large of an image. So it's a little bit less quality, but it still looks That's amazing. That's smooth. That's yeah. smooth. You can get it. This camera, my nice photo camera, it, it has one or 24 frames per second. Like it, it's not for video, it's for photo specifically. Yeah. You can shoot video, but it's just not what it's meant for. Well, and we love those slow motion shots. You guys know, we do them all the time. We do them when the kids are just playing in the house. We do mm -hmm. them with sports. We do them all of the time we're doing slow motion shots. So yeah. we need this guy. This camera was like the only camera I could find that was in within our budget that could shoot 120 frames per second at 1080p. Like, when no we were full first size. about vlogging. Yeah. Or talking about vlogging. Yeah. The Canon that can shoot 120 is about $5,000. So, a little difference in prices. So, <laughs> I'm glad we made that investment on that. Yes. But, I also have a few lights. This is my speed light. It's the 6000 or 600 EX RT. Canon. Canon. Good for inside stuff. If you need that extra light, light up throw it somewhere, get that boost of light. We use this occasionally for... Story time. Story time Sunday. It's a great, just like, throw it up. You can adjust the color temperature and the brightness, which is pretty sweet. Woo! Sorry, I'm blind in, blind in my life here. I have super sensitive eyes, if you guys yeah, haven't I, I, picked up on that yet. We, we don't use too many lights because her eyes are so sensitive. Yeah. Like, it would be great, but she'd be squinting and like, Crying the Water, whole time. Eyes watering the whole time. Yeah, so we don't use too many outside source lights. We usually just use natural light. Natural light, and we love the natural light. Anyways, so this is my camera bag, or camera bag. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff. I have more accessories here and there and all over the place, but this is like the main setup. Yeah, the main stuff we use. For yeah. Sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a photography or video background or you're looking to vlog here's some information for yeah. you remember this is our favorite for video this is our favorite for photo yeah it's awesome. favorite drone although they did just come out with a new drone that's like we're not getting a new it's drone. got my mouth watering <laughs> we're not getting a new drone i want it so bad <laughs> anyways <laughs> thanks for watching guys if you're not subscribed be sure to do that please please and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.